This is a special presentation of Manny Pacquiao's Blow by Blow. Any other use of materials, photos, and accounts without MP Promotions consent is strictly prohibited. Masangkai will step in in the weighing scale and his official weight is 124 pounds. Pasok na pasok. Albert Parilla, 124 pounds. Bril Bayugos, his official weight is 123 pounds. Bril Bayugos against Albert Parilla. Super bantamweight pound limit. 107 pounds. Nilo Entero, official weight. 108 pounds, pasok na rin. Okay, fighting pose. Next, next bout. Boxer Alvin Vergara, known as Alingatong Fighter. 133 pounds, Boxer Vergara. Pipito Masangkay from Dumaguit Boxing Team. 134 pounds. Dumaguit against Vergara. Somebody's O will have to go. 129 pounds. A copy. Official weight. 112 pounds. Dennis Gabiola. Magandang laban to. Bernard U. Stable. 121 pounds. 123 pounds. Pasok pa rin. This is 8 rounds of professional boxing of 120 Seven pound limit. One hundred six for Jason Brillio. Jason Francisco. One hundred five pounds. Ah, bago na nato. It will be a good fight. Well, step into the weight scale, and his official weight is one hundred sixteen pounds. Pasok na pasok. This is for the 115 Super Flyweight Division. Takuning's official weight. 115 pounds. Magandang pa ito for us. Judy Flores against Jonathan Takuning. Scheduled for 10 rounds in the Super Flyweight Division. Tomorrow, Jervin Mama. Scheduled for 10 rounds in the 112 Flyweight division. Okay. Robin the best official weight, 112 pounds. Magandang pa ito bukas, the lightning and the furnace. It's all brought to you by MP Promotion, Senator Manny Pacquiao's Blow by Blow, live on One Sports. Boxer known as the Iceman with a record of 10 victories, two defeats, one draw, and eight of his win coming by way of Naka. Presenting to you from Sandman, Boxing General, Santa City, Philippines, Boxer, Presto Carcosha. There's also his opponent known as the Silencer. He has a record of 15 victories, five defeats, zero. Draw and 11 of the swings coming by way of Naka. 130 pounds official weight. The Iceman, Presco Carcosia. From Elordes, South Box Las Piñas by way of Ilo Ilo San Rafael. Please welcome boxer Arnel Baconaje. Okay. Okay, daghan kayo salamat. And after the boxer, ang ato ang mga officials, ang atong gab personnel, officials, MP production. To welcome uh, and mabuhay Pilipinas, nandito po tayo sa Lagao Gymnasium General Santos City, 
for another exciting episode of uh, Manny Pacquiao Presents Blow by Blow in partnership with San Miguel Beer as we celebrate the festival called Kalilangan Festival to celebrate the founding of General Santos City. That was way back in February 27, 1939. Ricky Cristobal from the Sandman Boxing Stable of General Santos City versus Jet Masangkai from Elorda Boxing Gym in Davao City. This is scheduled for four. We are in the featherweight division, 126 pound limit. At makikita po natin ang ating tail of the tape. Here we go. Cristobal is 21 years old. Masangkai is 24. What about the height difference? Ricky Cristobal, four inches taller than Jet Masangkai. Both of them are right-handers. And one is from Lagao, one is from Davao. This is going to be an interesting fight. Masangkai was born in Sanangani province, while uh, Ricky Cristobal is from Kidapawan. Let's hear it now from our ring announcer, Bobby Mondehar. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fighter coming out of the dugout, Jet Masang Masangkai. Ricky Cristobal. presents blow by blow here at Lagao Gym, General Santos City, in partnership with San Miguel Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, all professional boxing bouts are under the regulations and supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. God Chairman, who's here tonight, Attorney Richard S. Clarine. Officer in charge, Mindanao Supervisor, Arnulfo Teng Sason II. Ring physician, Dr. Clemente Carlos III. And official timekeeper, Rosendo Garcila Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing the fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in, he weighed in at 124 pounds. He's on his pro debut. Fighting out of Elorde Boxing Gym, Davao City. Ladies and gentlemen, Jet Masangkai. Masangkai. Right across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 129 pounds. He's on his pro debut. Fighting out of Sandman Boxing Stable. General Santos City. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Cristobal. Cristobal. Judges at the ringside, Brenbot Dolalas, Judge Sabas Ponton Jr and Judge Aaron Kemp Odion. Third man in the ring, referee Fernando Pixio II. This will be four rounds of professional boxing. All right, gentlemen, this is four rounds of boxing. I want you to protect yourselves and follow my commands at all times. 
When I say stop, stop again, okay? Is that clear? Careful with your head and a low blow. That's glove. Back to your corner. At narinig natin ang tinig ni referee Fernando Pixio reminding uh, both fighters kung ano mga patakaran sa laban na ito. Now, Ricky Cristobal was uh, mentioned to be making his professional debut but uh, may record na po siya. No? This is his second professional fight. He is undefeated in his pro debut last October. Tinalo po niya si Rocky Sardido. Unanimous decision in four rounds. So, Ricky Cristobal is now in his second professional fight while si Jet Masangkay, the boy in white trunks with the gold trims, is making his uh, debut. Ricky Cristobal is the boy in black and he fights out of the Sandman Manangkil stable of General Santos City. Again, nabanggit natin kanina, Cristobal with a distinct height advantage and when he's throwing those punches, he's throwing them with bad intentions. Malalakas ang mga suntok na binibitawan ni Ricky Cristobal. Naku, kung mag-landing yan. May palalagyan ito si uh, Jet Masangkay. Oh, there it is. A left hand. Almost toppled Masangkay. Heavy-handed ito si Ricky Cristobal. And he goes after his spray. Masangkay fighting defensively. He's under attack, under fire. Cristobal is throwing a lot of ammunition. Looking very determined. He's looking to throw that right hand. That's his bomb. The right straight. And let's see whether Masangkai can fend off Cristobal. Remember, scheduled for four rounds. So you've got to give it all you've got in every single round. Cristobal has Masangkai where he wants him, right by the ropes. But Masangkai moving away from the ropes and bringing the fight back to the center of the ring where he's able to find the space to move away. Smart move by uh, Jet Masangkai, anticipating the uh, power of Ricky Cristobal. So he's keeping away from distance. He's keeping away from uh, Cristobal's range. Cristobal continuing to stalk his prey. Para nakikita na natin, no? Bobomba ito si Ricky Cristobal. He's looking for the opportunity. He's actually waiting for Masangkay to throw the first punch and then he will counter. Pero kung hindi pumapasok si Masangkay, siya na ang bahala. Cristobal looking very, very strong. Oh, tinamaan siya ng left na ni Masangkay. A very aggressive style here by Ricky Cristobal as round number one comes to an end. Looking very confident to Ricky Cristobal. Yet Masangkay has to show composure, has to show good defense, plus has to recoil and also display some offense. He's got to throw some punches. Ito makikita po natin, punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. That was a punch that almost toppled Masangkay along the ropes. Watch it again. That was the left hand. A left hand coming from Ricky Cristobal. Masangkai was a little off balance, almost went down, but kept his feet on the canvas. Good round for Ricky Cristobal. At uh, panuuri natin kung magkakaroon ng uh, malaking adjustment si Masangkai defensively and also offensively because he hardly threw any punches in that first round. Parang masyadong nire-respeto ni Masangkai yung far power ni Cristobal. Let's see whether he can show some nerve here in going head to head against uh, Ricky Cristobal. Masangkay. Again on the receiving end. Overhand right thrown by Ricky Cristobal and then a feint. Cristobal ducking that right hand coming from uh, Jet Masangkay. So far, hindi pa natin nakikita. Lumilipad si Jet. Nandun yung mga suntok galing kay Ricky Cristobal. Jet Masangkay, 
Kahawig niya si Erbito Salavaria, a former world uh, flyweight champion from the Philippines back in the day, back in the 60s. But Masangkay needs to fight like Salavaria in order to win this fight over Ricky Cristobal. Cristobal now using that left jab. He's not rushing things. Hindi naman siya nagmamadali dito. Although palagi nakakak yung kanyang right hand. That's the big one. Both fighters exchanging jabs. Yun yung ano, yun yung kana ni Cristobal that when he throws it, a lot of the fans here were expecting an explosion. And they're screaming when he throws that right. And clearly on the defensive is Masangkay. Overpowering presence. Ni Ricky Cristobal in the ring. Intimidating his opponent, Jet Masangkay. Important dito for Ricky Cristobal that he continues to be aggressive. Magalaw si Masangkay. He's evading, he's evasive. But uh, Cristobal, oh, what a punch. Cristobal went down. That was a surprise knockdown. At sinasabi natin that it's been Cristobal all the way. And what a punch. What a delivery. May lakas para to si Jet Masangkay. May surpresa para sa atin lahat. What a knockdown he scored. Cristobal got flustered. He was surprised. Let's see how he can recover. Let's see what he can do to compensate. He's been embarrassed. And ito naman si Cristobal. Trying to work his way back into the fray. He got careless. And look at Cristobal now going to work. This was what he should have done from the start of the, from the, start of the round. As sinasabi natin, he was very aggressive. And then he tapered off. What a surprise knockdown scored by Jet Masangkay. And remember, that knockdown scored was big. That gives him a 10-8 round. And in a four-rounder, a 10-8 round is huge. That's going to give him a big advantage of two points. Price knockdown scored and let's look at the punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel beer let's watch it again here is the uh, did he fall on his own or he tripped on his own but it was called a knockdown by the referee Fernando picture the second And I'm wondering whether the judges will give that a 10-8 round for uh, Masangkay. Might not have been a clear knockdown. Maybe that deserved a third look. But let's see what Ricky Cristobal does now to try to recover from that embarrassing trip to the canvas. Ito, binabanatan niya si Masangkay. Ito, nagalit si Cristobal. Bumagsak kasi siya. Nabilangan tuloy. Ito na si Ricky Cristobal. It's been one-sided so far in this third round. Oh, nice shot coming from Masangkay. Tumama yung kanan against Cristobal. You know, he has a tendency to be careless. Cristobal, as he comes in, he's relying on his power. As a result, nagiging careless siya sa depensa. Tatatamaan siya ni Masangkay. Although Masangkay's volume of punching is very, very low compared to Ricky Cristobal's. Pero paminsan-minsan nakakasingit si Masangkay. And it is, this has become a very interesting fight. Especially since nakascore ng knockdown si Jet Masangkay in the second round. Not clear, but he was scored a knockdown. Dominant round here for Ricky Cristobal, but there was that one punch scored by Masangkay. 
Oh. Two big punches landed here by Ricky Cristobal. He's looking to finish off Masangkay. But this guy is looking to be a very durable fighter. Up, oh, turning the tables now is Masangkay. Sandale. What's going on? He's called for another knockdown. He's called for another knockdown. We have to see that again. Dalawana knockdown scored here by Masangkay. Crisobo was dominating that round, but in that action close to the corner, Masangkay, siningita na naman niya, yung kanyang mga suntok. And Cristobal got careless, got tagged, went down. Referee Piksha calling a second knockdown. This goes the distance. And if they score 10 8 rounds for Masangkay in those two rounds, this fight is over. You know who's going to win this fight. Two knockdowns scored by Masangkay in two different rounds. Wow. An amazing turn of events, considering that Ricky Cristobal looked like a huge favorite in this fight. He's undefeated 1 0 in his record. And we did describe him as heavy handed. Well, mapapanood po natin yung punch of the round. And we'd like to see whether that was really a knockdown or not. Nagiging careless si Cristobal. Tuloy nagiging off balance. And when he's caught by a good shot, he goes down. Because wala siyang balance. Are we gonna see the punch of the round? Ito, panuri natin. Let's keep a close watch. Here we go. An exchange of punches. Head. Oh, let's look at it from a different angle. There was that punch. Oh, a connection. And that was called a knockdown because Tamayon, that was a good decision on the part of referee Pixio. Again, we have to explain. Even if you don't go down in the canvas, but if you're held up by the ropes and it prevents a fall, the referee will call a no knockdown. That was a judgment call. The referee thought that the ropes held up Ricky Cristobal, and that's why he called a knockdown. Naging off balance on si Ricky Cristobal, so now he's way behind on points if he scored 10 8 rounds for those two knockdowns scored by Jet Masangkay. May, uh, may Jet fumes din pala ito si Jet Masangkay. Lumili pa din, but he's looking for Ricky Cristobal to make a mistake. Pag magkaroon ng uh, mistake si Cristobal, nandun ka agad si Masangkay ready to take advantage of the situation. Pag na-off balance si Cristobal, nakakasuntok si Masangkay. And this is unimaginable. Huge favorite si Ricky Cristobal. Dalawang beses na nabilangan ng ating referee. Wow! Last round na to. Ano kaya? Makakakuha ba ng knockdown si Ricky Cristobal? Can he knock out Masangkay here in the fourth round? Pasulput-sulput yung mga suntok ni Masangkay pero madidiin. And he catches Cristobal off balance. And look at that right, the left arm of uh, Cristobal goes down and it exposes his right side. And tumatama naman yung right hand ni uh, Jet Masangkay. More than a minute to go, but time ticking away. Sabi na nga natin kanina, Jet Masangkay resembles a Vito Salavaria. And the crowd now roaring. Cristobal's fans want him to attack. But Masangkay continuing to sneak in those punches. And then the lateral movement from Masangkay to move away. Oh, look at that. Masangkay scoring with the left hand. Now the crowd roaring when Masangkay, the underdog, connects. He's become the crowd favorite in this fight. Jet Masangkay, the surprise fighter of the evening. 
scoring two knockdowns. And evading those right hands thrown by Rich Cristobal. And that's the sound of the 10 second clapper. Matatapos na po ang laban. This fight will go the distance. And it looks like Basangkay is going to score a major upset in this fight, scoring two knockdowns. And his cornerman, Jeffrey Dumagit, slapping fives with his fighter that in the first round looked like he was a lost soul. Nung first round, parang walang wala ito si Basangkay. Ricky Cristobal was dominating. And then in the second round, wasn't a clear knockdown, pero tumawag si referee ng uh, knockdown. That was the second round knockdown. Manuri natin, punch of the round. And uh, look at Jet Pasangkay scoring with that looping right hand. Ang maganda ang timing ni Pasangkay, tira timing niya. Kung kailan niya susuntukin si Ricky Cristobal and uh, this is go down. This is going to go down as an upset. Two knockdowns were scored by Jet Pasangkay. Ricky Cristobal has had one fight in his professional career. This is his second. Aba, magandang iti dito ni Jeffrey Dumagit. Ring announcer Bobby Mandihari studying the score sheets very carefully. Mahirap na magkamali sa announcement kung sinong nanalo. Okay, we've got Bobby Mandihari right now. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we have a winner. Here are the scores of the three judges. Judge Brembot Dulalas scored it 37-39. Judge Sabas Ponpon Jr. scored it 36-38. And Judge Aaron Kemp Odeong scored it 35-39. We have a winner by unanimous decision. And the winner is Jeff Masangkai. And there he is. In fact, Sir Rick Cristobal Masangkai. is no longer in the ring. He knew exactly what the decision was going to be. Jet Masangkai scoring two knockdowns. And he runs away with a unanimous decision. And Ricky Cristobal, and so disappointed with his performance, he came in as a huge favorite, a dominant first round. But he got clipped twice. He went down twice, and Jet Masangkai scoring a big victory, a big upset in this fight. Who would have expected Masangkai that he almost went down in the first round? And then that was the second knockdown, and he was propped up by the ropes, and that's the reason why the referee called the knockdown and there it is, the official announcement. Jet Pasangkai, the winner, by unanimous decision over the heavy favorite, Ricky Cristobal.